Okay, it's that time of year. It's Black Friday. You're watching this months from now, but actually it's Cyber Monday, I guess. Uh, but we ordered these phones, me and my wife, because they have just such good deals. Could have gotten a phone for free. We spent 50 bucks to get a slightly nicer phone. Last year we only had to pay shipping, which was like 12 bucks or something like that for our phones. But I figure 50 bucks to have an extra phone and I can use my old phones for other things. I plan to actually send them up as security cameras around the house and I might do some videos on that. But the thing is, when you get new phones, they come full of junk. Installing custom ROMs is fun, fine, but usually I like to leave the default operating system, the default Android on there for at least a couple of weeks to make sure that everything works fine. That way I know that it's not the phone that's the problem if I'm encountering problems. If I install a custom ROM and a week from now I have problems, is it the custom ROM or is it the phone? Did I screw something up? So I like to leave the default operating system on there, but I want to get rid of all the junk that is installed on the default. These are Motorola phones. I want to get rid of most of the Motorola applications, most of the Google applications. Uh, you know, I use Nextcloud and all that stuff myself. So how do we get rid of them? Uh, I've shown in the past how to uninstall stuff and how to disable stuff, but sometimes you can't uninstall or disable. And in the past, I've gone in as root and removed stuff. There's a better way. We're going to look at that today. You can use the default package manager. So I'll, I just uh, loaded this phone up. This, I've already done this to my phone. This is my wife's phone. I enabled uh, USB debugging. I'm going to log in and use the package manager to disable the installed apps. You have to know the uh, you know full name of the package to disable it. So we're going to look at how to disable it. And then I'm going to show you, you know, a convenient way to search through the list using FCF, as I always do. Such a great program. And then I'll also show you how to use Logcat to find the name of an application if you don't know the name of it. Uh, like, uh, sometimes Google has weird names. Like, you think Google Pay would be Google Pay, but it's actually Google Wallet, right? Um, so, uh, I'll show you how to figure out the name of the application as, so that you can remove it in case you don't know. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, here we are. On the left is my desktop shell. On my right is uh, my wife's Android phone. Uh, and as you can see, you have things like Google Pay, and Google Assistant, and Chrome that are installed by default. Now, if I was to look at her apps here and go to settings for certain things, actually, the way most people probably uninstall stuff. So let's say I want to uninstall this uh, play movie. I would drag this. Can I drag it with my mouse? There we go. And normally there would be an uninstall button here. But here's the issue. There isn't one. This is uh, one of those default installed applications and it's there and there's no uninstall option. Sometimes you can go into your settings and go to apps and choose one of the apps. We'll go to all apps and we'll choose something like Chrome and force up and you can disable that one but some you can't for example let's see if I go down to like uh, this let's see Google Play if that will or Google pay I can disable that you can disable it which by the way uh, we're gonna install it I still think it's probably taken up space so far all these can be disabled but we're, we're going to try to uh, here we go launch their, their launcher I'm using a lawn chair launcher. I'm not using the Motorola launcher. I want to get rid of it. So how do we do that? Well, first we need to get a list of all the applications. Uh, so how do you do that? So if I ADB uh, into the shell on the phone, I type in PM, which is the package manager, I can say list packages, right? It's going to list all the packages with the word package before it. So what I would normally do is I would say cut, and these are basic shell commands, uh, and I could cut. I call in that field two, so it gets rid of that package begin. But you don't need to do that. All you have to do is type in PM uh, list packages, and it will list all packages. Then you got to find the one you're looking for. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what I'm going to do is I will grep for launcher, right? And so I can see Motorola Launcher 3 here. That is probably the launcher I want to get rid of, just based on the name. And if you don't know the name or you can't find it, don't worry, we're going to go over that as well. Uh, so the command I would run would be this. We're going to run the, normally you would do PM uninstall, uninstall, and the name of that package. But it's going to tell me it failed, you can't, you can't delete it, blah, blah, blah. What we're going to do is the same command, but we're going to add in PM uninstall dash dash user space zero and the name of the package success and it's gone let's do another one let's go ahead and uh, search through the packages so I'm gonna grab for assistant 
assistant, something like that. There we go. So after the package and call, I'm going to grab the name of that. And again, I'm going to run that same command. So we're going to go PM uninstall, yeah, install, dash dash, oh, user, zero, and the name of the package. And we should see this Google Assistant icon disappear. It's gone. It's uninstalled. We got a success. Of course, uh, we're right in the phone shell here. We could do the same thing. Let me uh, bring that back. Screen went off there for a second. Uh, of course, you can run the same command. Uh, we can do something f straight from my computer, adb shell, and then we can go pm list packages. And it's going to list the packages right here. So uh, I could grep each time I want to do something. But of course, what I could do is I can use that cut command, like I said. I can say cut at colon. And uh, in fact, I'm going to make this full screen and get rid of my wife's uh, screen right now, just so I have more room here. And let's clear the screen. Uh, so colon dash F2. And now, now I'm getting into more advanced stuff. I just showed you how to install it. I'm going to show you a, a way that I do it when I'm uninstalling lots of packages. I just want to go through them. So there we go. Now i got a list of all the packages. What can I do then? If you have FZF installed, which is, should be in your package manager for most Linux distribution, that lets you search through stuff. So now I can do this, and it does a fuzzy find, and I can type in something like Google, right? And I can go uh, desk clock. Let's say I want to get rid of their desk clock and install like a free open source one. That's the name of the package right there. That's what I have to do. So now I can wrap that and... I can say, okay, so we're doing dollar sign parentheses inside quotation. It's saying whatever the output of this command is a string. So now I can do adb shell and I can do pm uninstall dash dash user zero. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a list of all my packages, right? And now I can do one, um, let's see, uh, magazine, magazine, I think. I think it's the. No, I thought I thought the name of their news app was magazine. Okay, let's let's see. I'm going to find one that I know the name of. Oh, how about um, Google Calendar? There we go. I'm going to hit enter, and it just uninstalled Google Calendar. I can do another one. I can do Google Calculator, and it just uninstalled the Google Calculator. Great. Now, what if you don't know the name? And sometimes these names don't make any sense. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to bring up my wife's screen again. we got all the apps here in the app drawer. And what I'm going to do is I am going to log into the phone. I'm going to go, <laughs> sorry, my daughter's sick, and she, that was just a reminder to give her medicine, ADB, and I'm going to say shell, and cat log, or sorry, log cat will give you a whole bunch of information on what's going on on the screen, right? Let's go ahead and move this up here so it's a little bit wider, right? And so now my wife's screen is down on the bottom there. Uh, what we can do is with that, just to narrow it down a little bit, we're going to say grep CMP. So we're going to get all that output and we're going to grep for CMP. And now it's running. Let it run for a second. And I'm going to grab something like Google Pay. I'm going to hit that. Wait a second. Hit Control C to stop. And now we can see, if we look at this, we're going to look for an app name right here wallet so google android apps wallet so you look for the name it when you run an app it should show up here right after cmp on a line uh, sometimes you click on one app and other processes start so you find the one that looks like the most likely one we also have a google uh, gsm pay here but i'm going to start with this wallet here and again let's uh let's bring up my wife's phone again and then what we can do the pm uninstall i can't i type that wrong every time stall dash dash user zero and I'm going to say uh, com.google.android.apps, wallet, N-F-C-R-E-L. Boom. If I do that, boom. Google Pay just disappeared. So that is how you can uninstall uh, these default annoying applications that you can uninstall in the Android interface. Uh, again, the simple, all you have to do is... Here's that command again. It's PM for package manager, uninstall, but you have to set it as user zero and then the name of the package. And find the name of the package. Like I said, if we log cat, that's going to output a whole bunch of stuff on the phone. Uh, but what we want to do is narrow it down. So we're going to grep for CMP. 
And as applications launch and do stuff in the background, you're gonna see them on here. Uh, let me pick another one that I wanna get rid of. Play movies. So there we go. I hit the button and actually, it, look, it opened up uh, the YouTube videos app here. So now, definitely wanna get rid of, oh, no, it's, it's right after the comp equal, comp Google Android videos. And then it had a process that was calling YouTube videos. Uh, I was probably getting information from the YouTube app, which I'm gonna uninstall too. So again, if I just did PM uninstall, try to run that, let's see. It says error, but if I add to that dash dash user zero, it's gone from the phone. Again, default applications are usually stall installed on a partition that is not writable. So I'm assuming they're still there, they're still taking up space, because even if I was to delete them from that partition, you're not using that partition for storage. So it's not really clearing up storage, but it's stopping these apps, uh, to the best of my knowledge, from running in the background and doing all their things and just using up your processing battery power and reporting whatever you know from the back. You know, in, in the long run, sometimes it's better to install a custom ROM, but if you don't want to for some reason, and there's many reasons not to, um, you can at least get rid of these or disable them this way, even if disabling is not an option. So thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.